With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. In this question, it is given that a sum of money lent out at a simple interest amounts to Rs. 1900 in one year and to Rs. 2800 in four years. Find the rate of interest and the sum of money. So first of all, what we'll do is we'll let we'll let the sum of money, the sum of money that is the principal amount, the sum of money equals to P and the rate of interest, the rate of interest, interest equals to R. So according to this, for one year, according to the question, according to question, for one year, for one year, the amount was rupees 1900. So first of all, the time is one year and the amount is, the amount is 1900. So we have the formula. So we have the formula of SI equals to amount minus principal that will be equal to 1900 minus principal that is P. Let this be our first equation. But we also know that SI is equal to that is simple interest is equal to P into R into T divided by 100. So this will be equal to 1900 minus P. But T is given to be one year because we have taken this amount to be equal for one year. So writing T as one year, this will be P R divided by 100 equals to 1900 minus P. So let this be our second equation. Now similarly, so for 4 years, the time is now 4 years. The time is now 4 years, 4 years. And the amount is now, the amount is now 2800. So amount is equal to, is equal to 2800. So SI will be equal to A minus P. Let this be equal to SI2 and this be equal to SI1. So this will be A minus P that will be equal to 2800 and the principle is same that is P. So let this be our third equation. And SI is also taken as P into R into T. So this will be P into R into T is given to be 4 years divided by 100. This will be equal to 2800 minus P. So if they simplify this, this can be written as 4PR divided by 100, this is equal to 2800 minus P. So let this be our fourth equation. Now what we'll do is, we'll subtract the equation second from fourth. So we'll subtract, subtract equation second from fourth. Now from subtracting equation second from fourth, we will get 4PR divided by 100, 4 P R divided by 100 minus P R divided by 100 will be equal to 2800 minus P minus of this is 1900 minus P so minus of 1900 minus P. If we simplify this, this will be equal to 3 P R 3 P R divided by 100. This will be equal to 2800 minus P minus 1900 plus p so this p will be cancelled through this plea if we subtract this this will be equal to 3 p r divided by 100 900 so 3 p r will be equal to 3 p r will be equal to 900 multiplied by 100 that will be equal to 90000 so p r will be equal to p r will be equal to if we divide this 90000 by 3 this will come out to be equal to 30,000. So this is the value of PR. Now we will be substituting the value of PR into our first equation that is sorry into our second equation that is this one. So this will be equal to PR divided by 100 is equal to 1900 minus P. So if we substitute the value of PR into this particular equation this will be 30,000 30,000 divided by 100 is equal to 1900 minus p these two zeros will be cancelled by these two zeros 
if we transfer this P to the left hand side and 300 to right hand side, this will be equal to P equals to 1900 minus 300. So our principal amount is equal to rupees 1600. So this was the first thing which we needed to find it out. Now we also need to find out the rate of interest. So for rate of interest, we will be putting up the value of P in the equation. This one, fourth equation. So if you put the value of P in the fourth equation, we have the fourth equation as 4PR divided by 100 is equal to 2800 minus P. So if we put the value of P as 1600, so if we put the value of P as 1600, this will be equal to 4 into 1600 into R divided by 100. This will be equal to 2800 minus 1600. So this will come out to be equal to 1200. Now these two zeros will be cancelled by these two zeros. This will be equal to R equals to 1200 divided by 4 into 16. If we cancel this 4 and 12, this will be 3. So this will be equal to 300 divided by 16. If we simplify it and divide it, this will come out to be equal to 18.75%. So this is the rate of interest and this is the principal amount. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.